World Cup still a couple of weeks away, but the Miami Valley already has soccer fever. <laughs> yeah, most certainly. And soccer may not be America's number one sport, but with a roster loaded with players from Holland and the U.S., the Dayton Dutch Lions are doing what they can to help the pro game grow here in the States. Of course, we know that, uh, uh, that the baseball and the basketball and, uh, and, and the hockey is very popular over here. And it's uh, maybe the fifth or the sixth uh, sport here. The players from Holland on the Dutch Lions obviously are well aware of how Americans view soccer here in the States. But that hasn't deterred them from trying to win more fans over to the sport. Now the pressure is on us because uh, we come from a lot of players come from from Holland and Holland uh, of the Netherlands and the Netherlands have a yeah, kind of, of uh, football style, of soccer style, and, and we want we want to do, introduce it to in the United States. But first, they had to introduce that style to the American players on the team. Oh, I have to admit that uh, in the beginning uh, we had sometimes a hard time uh, to, to, to get into the game over here and, and maybe some people thought, even in our team, we thought, well, we're going to have a hard time. But, uh, you know, when, when, when the serious games are starting, like the league games, you see that everybody is, uh, yeah, is more sharp than sometimes in the friendly games. And uh, I think uh, so far we did a quite good job. Former Carroll High School and University of Dayton star Jeff Papella is a forward on the Lions and believes the Dutch and American styles of play have complemented each other well. I think we've really blended well, honestly, lately. Um, they're known for their technical and tactical ability, and uh, we all the American players can learn stuff from them. So, you know, we're trying to blend both of our styles together, and it's working out well. The Lions roster may be filled with players from across the world, but they all speak the international language of winning, and this team expects to win big. I think from the start we've always had the goal of finishing at the top of the league, and right now, uh, three games in, we've put ourselves in a good position, so uh, I think our expectations are still high, and that's where we want to be. We are going for the champion, and uh, I think it's uh, possible, and uh, I think we will be champion this year.